Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going back to how many clones fit and for episode 4 already we are going to be taking a look at the Republic fighter tank which is actually just on my shelf here. So let me grab it and as you can see it's nowhere near as big as the ATTE. It's not as big as the Hogwarts Express. I don't even think this is as big as the Bad Batch shuttle which you can see just on the edge of your screen. So I'm going to be very intrigued to see how many clones fit. I know there was a lot of space when I reviewed it. You could get the two, three clone troopers and Mace Windu in. And it does open up pretty nicely. You can see all of the way through. And we've definitely got enough space for two clones up top. But the real question is just how many clones fit inside the fighter tank. So let's take it to the desk. Let's get my clones that are left over from the ATTE. And see how many clones we can fit in the fighter tank. So I always prepare for these videos the night before and sometime between last night and right now I seem to have lost an entire bag of clone troopers. So I pinched five from my shelf. I'm not sure how many clones we'll get in. I feel like five is a good start and we'll see if we need more later on in the video. I'm pretty sure we're going to need more than five. But the first clones, as I said, I think we'll have to fit them in the top here now. I'm not sure if we want to go with sitting down clones or if we want to stand two up. There's usually two clones or droids in the top bit here for the most part. I know for the Republic fighter tank, there's also meant to be a gun on top. I feel like in the original Battlefront 2, there was a giant gunner on top and you had sort of these three guns blasting. But we won't be modifying this set just yet, perhaps one day. But we can fit a clone trooper in like that. We might even be able to fit three of them. I'm a bit unsure with how the sides work about fitting clones in. And if you look directly down the top bit, you can see there isn't any sort of platform to the side. So I guess first up, I'm not sure we'll be able to fit three in. But we can definitely fit another one in just like so. Perhaps he's just lean in we might not even be able to get a second one in let's play around with this and see if we can get a second one in the cockpit so i have defaulted to sitting two of them down the old faithful method and as you can see we can actually stand a third one up in between them and that does look pretty cool you've got two troopers behind them you've still got the trooper sticking out the front so far we've got more clones and we haven't even tackled the massive hole going through it so we're going to need more than two clone troopers. So I've gone and grabbed another five clone troopers. Surely we can't fit more than seven in the bottom. In fact, pause this video right now. Go leave a comment. Do you think we're going to get more than 10 Lego clone troopers in the Republic fighter tank? And once you've already commented, what we're going to do to fit them inside this is actually pop off this top bit here. One thing I noticed in my review video, which... I watch back to see just how we could access the inside is that this top bit isn't too tightly clipped down there's nothing in fact holding it down and this looks like a very poorly designed lego mech as it is you can see you've got the two legs here you've got the two arms there that is quite funny but it also frees up this entire space we've got about this much space to fill up with our clone troopers so we know we can fit one in there but I'm more interested if we could fit a second clone side by side. These things aren't necessarily made for army builders, much like the battle packs. And it's going to be a close one. Perhaps a phase one helmet would have been better to fit in there. But we are going to go with it. Can we get a second one in? As long as they're holding hands, it does seem good. Perhaps we might need to remove their helmets, store them separately, just so they fit in a bit more snugly now we are going to be removing this brown piece as well because we want to make the most space in the fighter tank we don't want these random pieces sticking out in the base because that could be another clone trooper and so you can see what we're doing i'm going to reposition it like this we might even be best removing that two by two by three tile hopefully so i've got with me here my trusty brick separator it doesn't look too pleased to be separating bricks but perhaps that's because it's not been used in quite some time and hopefully this should just pop out i'm unsure if the rest of it is contained so i'm going to pop this out and we can continue on 
Thankfully, it was just a two by three tile, as you can see. So we've only moved, removed two pieces even so far. So I think we can definitely get six down here. If we continue layering up all these troops, perhaps we can even include a nice phase one trooper there. They are front to front. I'm not sure if we'll be able to squeeze a trooper standing up between them because of the way the hatch closes at the front. I just don't see there being enough space for a clone trooper, mainly the clone trooper helmet. That is the big test from this series. How many clone trooper helmets can we fit inside different vehicles? But as you can see, the front bit does still close up with the next two helmets, so perhaps that will have to do. And what we could try before we move on. And now we're moving on to the back bit. I'm very sorry if you thought we would fit at least seven minifigures down here. Because right now it's not looking too likely. I mean, never say never, of course. But I'm not sure if these troopers will fit here because of the headspace up front. And it does seem that... We're going to need an extra brick or two if we do want to fit them like this. So what we can do is lay down a trooper on its back. I don't know if we'll fit two on their side. We could always just try and whack a few on their side. And perhaps this is a job for when the top bit is back on. So as you can see, we might need to remove the helmets at the front here as well. It's not looking good for these two clones, but the top bit does clip in ah, as long as the clones are sitting up it seems that there will not be a problem with clipping them in so let's make sure this is nice and secure so far four clone troopers in there a little gap not as big as the aat that we got but there is indeed a little gap and now we just start to slot in our clone troopers how many can we fit i'm not even sure we'll fit more than one at this point but we are Going for the free troopers, it's no longer about how many clones we can fit, it's more so can we fit a 10th trooper. I'm sure we can stack up two clone troopers just like so, but the really big goal is going to be trying to fit that 10th clone trooper in somewhere. So where can we go? Again, I'm not going to with the ATT Hogwarts Express, same rules. We're not just going to be pinning them on the outside. If you would like to see how many clone troopers stand on the fighter tank, because there are a bunch of exposed studs, definitely let me know by leaving a comment. But we're trying to fit them all on the inside. Perhaps we can take the helmet off to follow these front four troopers, because there's enough space to put a helmet on each of their laps. And we're going to try to squeeze it. I really don't see this happening at all, unless we lay them down, but... Even then, there's just not enough space. Hold on, hold on. We've done it. We fit 10 clones into the fighter tank. This is definitely the dodgiest episode so far. But as long as you've got somewhere to store well, one, two, three, four, five of the clone helmets, you can fit 10 in here. I'm pretty sure you could probably get a helmet. Yeah, there's no helmets fitting. Perhaps these can go in the Bad Batch shuttle or... You can fit two of them out front. Surely we can fit two. We can fit two of them out front. So you can fit the helmets in here to some extent. Again, it's not going to look great with the helmets. I'd recommend just leaving the helmets out. But you can fit ten clone troopers in the fighter tank. Just removing these two pieces. This episode has been a lot a lot of fun and i'm really liking that you're enjoying the series because lego are always coming out with some really cool ships and i'm so happy i have the opportunity to buy some of the bigger models that i just couldn't afford when i was younger so thank you so much for your support of course eventually if we do start earning from this channel perhaps i can save that up and put that towards a giant ucs vehicle and we can see, for instance, how many clones we can fit in the UCS 8080, which would be the ultimate set to try and fit clones in. But we fit 10 of them in so far. If you're worried about this extra helmet, you can sit it on the lap of these clones up top and it's held in by the back door. So there we go. 10 clones. All 10 helmets are fit inside, just like with the Bad Batch shuttle. You've got to fit the helmet somewhere. And we've only removed the two pieces. Let me know what you thought down in the comments, as well as your predictions. Did you get it right? Did you think we'd need more or less? Or did you go against the curves and predict that 
we would be spot on and fit all 10 of them in the fighter tank. This has honestly boggled my brains. And yeah, the, the helmets sort of expand that gap that is left by them. But from the front, this looks amazing. I'm so, so happy we managed to fit these. So once again, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe for more awesome, awesome LEGO content such as this. And may the bricks be with you all, always.